Hello, everybody. It is birthday week. We are here. It's time to celebrate. And because it is our birthday week and because of birthdays, you have cake. We asked for your favorite type of cake. And here is what you're saying. Let's get right to it. K. Doty loves strawberry cheesecake. Mab V. 1970. It's a fan of poppy seed cake. I don't think I've ever had poppy seed cake, but I certainly will. It's like a lemon poppy seed cake. Is that what we're talking about here? A little lemon in there? Sounds good. I do see a bunch of people saying red velvet. I didn't get it here in in these comments. Just me, 88, wants some pineapple upside down cake. Takara loves yellow butter cake with chocolate frosting. That's a good combination there. Please serve Lambarari some carrot cake, please. Could you do that, please? Oh my goodness. She, please, we, we need that served up immediately. <laughs> also, we have Rachel IRSL, who has the same birthday cake every year. It's a Baskin Robbins peanut butter and chocolate ice cream cake. A few people love an ice cream cake. Nothing, nothing wrong with an ice cream cake. I like it too. Mika Angel Lee wants some straight up chocolate cake. I had a little chocolate cake after lunch today. It was very dry. I'm not going to say where I got it from because I'm a gentleman, but... Uh, it was not. It was not good. I tried like a couple of bites. It was like biting into a chocolate desert. Night one one three seven's favorite is the Saint Honoré cake, which is like a bunch of cream puffs held together by cream, like buttercream. You know, it's it's a very French uh, kind of cake. L High seventy seven has a recipe for everyone. Here it is. Write it down. Mandarin oranges, vanilla pudding mix, Cool Whip, and yellow cake. And finally. Oh, Lively33 wanted to toss the confetti cake in there. Good choices, all. Thank you for participating. Did you know it's International Pancake Day? Yeah. More importantly, it's the start of birthday week here at Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Happy 15th birthday, Swag Bucks. Nothing is sweeter than building big stacks of information using your smarts to win today's grand prize. That is $1,000, and if you can correctly answer all 10 of our multiple-choice general trivia questions, you will win a share of it. In this game, you will earn one bonus SP for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. So if that happens, you will need to claim your bonus SP at the end of the game in order to keep them. It's as simple as clicking a button that appears once the game is ended. If you're a grand prize winner, your claiming is done for you automatically. Those bonus SB rolled into your share of the $1,000 grand prize. Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. You can do that either using SB or with a free rejoin. Just remember, you can click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and earn free rejoins by watching videos. But this week, there's another way to get free rejoins. It's a second chance week, which means you get three free rejoins for each live game you play credited before the following game begins. That's right, just for showing up. Each game, we normally give away a 500 SB prize to one player who earns and claims at least one SB in the game. We announce each game's winner at the beginning of the following game, which means I do have the winner from Friday's game, who is tbuoey 7 Congratulations to you. You'll be credited shortly. But this week, because it is Swagbuck's 15th birthday, we're going to do something special. The amount has jumped to 1,500 SB, which means... Big winners all week long, so keep playing and claiming because today's winner of 1,500 SB could be you. That's right. Now, there are two ways to earn SB from SB from Swagbucks Live outside of our live games. One is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. It's a once-a-day hostess version of our game that you can play on your schedule. It resets each night at midnight Pacific time. And then second, you click the More Ways to Earn button in the main menu to access, access an exclusive offer all with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. You know, my brain has been silly putty all day, but we're going to get through this together. Like the pat of butter on a short stack, the comments are sliding off your screen. Goodbye, comments. We'll see you later. That means it is time for the game to begin. Here is question number one. What type of food is typically prepared in boiling water? Is it lettuce, ice cream, or pasta? Which of those is typically prepared in boiling water? 
or wooder where I come from. Don't overboil this food or it'll come out a gummy mess when you're aiming for al dente. And please don't forget to save some of that pasta water to help finish your sauce. That's right, pasta is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. Now, ice cream, if you're making a base, you would do a little uh, boiling, but not with water. You do like cream, milk, sugar. You would make your base that way, but that is not water. And of course, lettuce. Uh, that just grows from the ground and you wash it off. You Please don't, you don't have to boil your lettuce. You you shouldn't do that. Cabbage you can boil, yes, but but not lettuce. All right, we have over 33,100 people after all the rejoiners. Almost 35,000 of you here playing the game. And the good news is, from here on out, every question you get right earns you one bonus SB. So let's get into that right now with question number two. Complete this slogan for secret deodorant. Strong enough for a man, but... pH balance for a woman, strength comes from within, or no boys allowed! What is the secret deodorant slogan? It's not a secret, it's just four secrets. Nobody likes being a sweaty, smelly mess, especially when you have an important business meeting or a date. And while secret may be strong enough for a man, it's pH balanced for a woman. That's right, pH balanced for a woman is the answer. 91% of you getting that one right. Well done. 7% going for strength comes from within, which is true. But it is not the slogan for secret deodorant. Uh, neither is no boys allowed. That would be kind of a weird one. But hey, if they wanted to try it for advertising, we, we would all be talking about it. So I guess it wouldn't be that bad. Of the 9% of you, roughly, who were eliminated on that one, almost everybody coming right back in. Most of you doing it for free. But if you, if you didn't this time, you're going to have free rejoins after playing this game. So we got you the next time. We still have over 31,800 people in grand prize contention. We are on to question number three now with one bonus SP if you get it right. What state is known as the show me state? Is it Louisiana, Missouri, or Arkansas? What state is known as the show me state? The origin of this phrase is up for debate. It could be from Congressman Willard Duncan Van Diver, or it could be from a mining town in Colorado. Either way, Missouri is the show me state. That's right, I'm from Missouri. You're going to have to show me. Missouri is the show me state. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. That does mean 10% of you just got eliminated from grand prize contention, which means either a bunch of people are going to rejoin or you're going to stick around and play for bonus SB because we don't want to talk about the other option where you leave. That's just, uh, that's not a good choice. It's not, not a good look for you. I don't like it. All right, we have had over two-thirds of the people eliminated come back in. We are on now to question number four worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Willie Nelson is best known for what genre of music? Is it country, disco, or punk? For what genre of music is Willie Nelson known? The Red-Headed Stranger. Willie Nelson is a hit-making legend on his own, but if that's not enough, he's also a member of the Highwaymen, which is a group of country music's most celebrated stars. You heard me right. Country music is the answer. Pretty much everyone getting that one right, and we are on the road again to question number five now. That is what I like to see. Well done. This next question is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, question number five. Who did Ginger Spice credit as the original proponent of girl power? Is it Gloria Steinem, Queen Elizabeth II, or Margaret Thatcher? That's right. Who was the original girl power? The Spice Girls inspired a generation of girls to define girl power for themselves. And for Ginger Spice, a woman in power was the original proponent. That's right. Former Prime Minister, the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher herself. 66% of you getting that one right. That is two-thirds of you. Well done knowing it would be a British woman in a position of power. Um, uh, women's rights activist Gloria Steinem is not the answer, nor is Queen Elizabeth II. Rest in peace. But of the one-third of you that got eliminated on that one, most of you coming back in, still over 26,700 of you in grand prize contention. And I'd say it's just about time to move on to question number six, the back end of this one. It is worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here's question number six. Which of the following shows is most likely to use a laugh track? Is it a medical drama, a sitcom, or a documentary? We had a fun fact about this on the Swagbucks Live Twitter. You should follow us there, just saying. Traditionally, these shows were filmed in front of a live studio audience, but sometimes you need to juice the laugh. So that's why a laugh track is used to enhance sitcoms. That's right. They all use them, even the ones that had good 
live audience says 99% of you getting that one right while we wait for the next question to load. I was on a sitcom many years ago, and I can tell you if you do a scene multiple times, the first time, get a huge laugh, and then they're, they're diminishing returns. They've seen it. They know the surprise already. So you might like a later take, and that's when you juice the laughs. It's another reason why you do it. Question number seven on the way now worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What movie allegedly contributed to the station wagon's drop in popularity? Is it National Lampoon's Vacation, Risky Business, or Planes, Trains, and Automobiles? Allegedly contributed to the station wagon's drop in popularity? Well, it doesn't necessarily trash the idea of a station wagon. It does trash an actual station wagon as the Griswolds try to make it to Wally World and the family truckster in National Lampoon's Vacation. That's right. Holiday rule. That's all right. The family, family truckster made uh, station wagons a little less appealing. It wasn't seen as a cool car in that movie. Was it ever a cool car? I don't know. 57% of you getting that one right, though. The 43% who were eliminated. Over half of you coming back in, charging back in. Still a bunch of people rejoining National Lampoon's Vacation, a classic written by John Hughes about his memories of family trips as a child. I think he wrote the first two vacation films were based on articles that he wrote for for National Lampoon magazine. So it truly was from the pages of National Lampoon ripped out and turned into a film. All right, we have had about 80% of the people eliminated rejoin. Still have over 22,600 people in grand prize contention. Almost 34,000 of you sticking with us till the very end. And there are only three questions left now. Let's move on to question number eight. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution granted women the right to vote? Is it the 19th, the 24th, or the 16th? Which amendment granted women the right to vote? It's a big deal to pass an amendment to the U.S. Constitution. In almost 250 years, it's only happened 27 times. Ratified in 1920, the 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote. 19th Amendment is the answer. 87% of you getting that one right. Well done. Passing little civics knowledge. Dropping that knowledge on everybody. That is what I like to see. We are blowing through this game, by the way. This is like, it's a fast game. You're doing so well. Love to see it. We are already on to our second to last question worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here's question number nine. Which of these words would be used to describe something that's over the top? Is it omnipresent, ovular, or ostentatious? Omnipresent, ovular, or ostentatious. Which of those is something that's over the top? It's not considered to be polite to show off, but sometimes you deserve the opportunity to strut your stuff and be ostentatious. Yes, that is the word I was looking for, ostentatious. 19,111 you, of you have made it this far and you are ready for our final question. Reminder, we're just two days away from the really big day of Swag Bucks birthday celebration. This is on Thursday, February 23rd, and we've got something we've never done before. Two games so close to each other you can taste it. First, we have a $1,000 sitcoms game at the normal time of 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, followed immediately at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, 5.30 p.m. Pacific time by a $15,000 game all about the year 2008. That is the year Swag Bucks was born, so we're gonna see how well you remember what the world was like when Swagbucks was born. It's all part of a huge day of celebration on Swagbucks. I hope we see you there. Neither of these games are going to be super difficult. I promise you we have made them somewhat simple. We want it to be fun and easy and breezy. Finally, join Albert, the first mobile banking experience of its kind. Get your paycheck up to two days early. Earn cashback rewards. Get access to free ATMs. Invest in stocks. And receive access to advance up to $250 from your next paycheck all within the Albert app, just an app on your Android or iOS device. Open a new Albert account and link your bank account to earn 2,000 SP. That's a way to get you started. That's $20 in PayPal cash or free gift cards, my friends. You have to be a US player to take advantage of this offer, but please check it out after the game. Speaking of which, we have 19,587 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 33,600 of you here with us till the very end. I got one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can successfully answer question number 10. Here it is. Complete the title of this Fyodor Dostoevsky novel, War and Peace, Pete's Coffee, or Amanda Pete? War and what? 
This mix of historical fact and fiction is a long, dense read, but is also one of the most well-known novels of all time, so that's why it's no surprise that pretty much everybody knew it was War and Peace. War and Peace is the answer, 19,315 if you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. That's right, you're getting a piece of that $1,000, you are. Congratulations, each of our grand prize winners are taking home six SB and grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Tona Lynn, I'm talking to you, congratulations to you. Tester Sabrina, you are a winner, congratulations to you. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, I'm happy that you won. G. Scott Furness, you are a winner. Love HK, you are a winner. Kayla, you, Kayla is awesome. Kayla is awesome. You're awesome. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to those of you who earn bonus SP and claim them. Not only do you have more SP in your account now than you did when the game started, but everybody who claimed their SP and everybody who won the grand prize today is going to be entered into a drawing to win 1,500 SP. We'll reveal the winner of that prize tomorrow. In the meantime, you know what to do now that you have all of these new SP in your account. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thank you for playing along and winning, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for another round, another three free rejoins up for grabs. This has been Swagbucks Live, and I am out of here.